Celsius. The ice spirit climb is quite intense here. Yeah. You thought it might make you feel a little more at home. It is quite pleasant. We're ready to show you those places you remember. Any preference for the order? Under their current names, the areas are the Kajara Sea Falls, Fenmont, and Fort Gondala. I'll leave it to you. But just make sure Fort Gondala is last. Oh, why is that? You asked if I had a preference, and I answered. Fort Gondala is a military installation. We should probably ask Rowan to get us permission to visit. Good idea. I'll give him a call. In the meantime, let's start by visiting the other two. Take me to Kijara Sea Falls, or this Fenmont of yours. What a strange little city they've built here. There wasn't a building in sight last time I was here. Just an endless field, perfect for watching shooting stars. Wow, that sounds nice. People used to say that if you wished upon a shooting star before it vanished, your wish would come true. The human who brought me here loved those silly superstitions. He taught me all sorts of them. No, Jude is slowly melting the ice around Celsius's heart. I'd only get in the way. Celsius taught me a 500-year-old method for making wishes come true. Want to give it a shot? A spell for granting wishes? Interesting. That does sound like the sort of thing humans would enjoy. Let's try it. Here, you move your hands like this while you make your wish. Hmm, intriguing. Yeah. Did you ever make a wish with anyone? Back in the day? I don't recall. We've made our wishes. Shall we move on? As if asking now would do any good. Well, that was certainly us at our finest. This is just as I remember it. Cool and relaxing. So it's always been like this? They say that couples who stand at the top of the falls develop an intense bond for each other. Daredevil lovebirds used to scramble up there all the time. One man in particular was persistent in inviting me as well. I am a great spirit. I have little interest in participating in human traditions. But... I did enjoy watching other humans do it. I see. It must be an important human custom. Actually, I've never heard about it. Hmm. Then perhaps it's fallen out of practice. Shall we give it a go? Yes. Why not? And you needn't worry about slipping. Undine will make sure your fall isn't fatal. Not fatal? My nostalgia is satisfied. You may do as you please. All right, then we'll be back in a jiff, okay? Are those two always like that? Interesting. It feels like only yesterday that he and I talked here. Has it really been 500 years? We went all the way to the edge. Maxwell, I didn't think you'd actually go through with it. 
The view was worth the trip alone. And you should have seen Jude. Mila, I told you to pretend that never happened. <laughs> That's right. I quite enjoyed it, to be honest. But if you found it upsetting, I shall suppress the memory. Well, in that case... You don't have to forget it, but... Just keep it between us, okay? Very well. It shall be our secret. <laughs> well, that was certainly fun. On to the next stop. Just look at this eyesore they built. But this has to be the place. I'd never forget the mana flowing through here. Why is this place special to you? Because this is where I met him. Who? The first human I ever met. Have you heard of a man named Hal? That name sounds familiar. Wait, you can't mean Dr. Hal. Isn't he the head scientist who laid the foundation for spirit arts? If that's the case, his inspiration must have been... Probably me. We even lived together for a while. He insisted. We may have just solved one of history's great mysteries. You could say that. He was a spirit scientist who lived approximately 500 years ago. He's like the father of spirit arts. Even before humans knew spirits existed, we'd intuitively been able to channel them, but Dr. Howe suspected their existence. He theorized they were beings who converted mana from human mana lobes into spirit arts. Apparently, he confirmed his theory by making contact with the physically manifested spirit. I never imagined it was Celsius. Dr. Howe's theories spearheaded and eventually led to the fundamental arts of spirit channeling. He laid the entire foundation for the age of spirit arts. You make it sound like he was some noble historical figure when really he was just a lovesick fool. Always finding an excuse to get close to me, trying everything he could to woo me. Wait, wait. Dr. Howe hit on you? Have all of these locations we visited been places you spent with Howe? Yes. He used to drag me everywhere, always talking passionately about his dreams for the future. The way most humans do with their friends and lovers. But ultimately, humans and spirits are different creatures. Do you truly believe that spirits and humans can coexist peacefully? I believe it. In fact, I plan to prove it. We have vowed to do everything we can to accomplish that goal. Right? Well then, in that case... I think that we should put your vow to the test. You remain so stubborn. Fine by me. We can still win. Focus. 
This is proof of our vow. I hope you can finally understand. I'll keep getting better! Bigger and better! It's still standing! <sighs> Mila! I think not. Ha! Look out! Mila! Are you... are you okay? Jude, why would you do this? I just... 
can't stand seeing you hurt. I wouldn't do this for just anyone, you know. Don't you see that? Jude, you idiot. Just look at them. <laughs> Let me tell you, that idiot right there is every bit the fool Hal was. Jude, Maxwell, you might be able to accomplish our vision. You have what it takes to go and finally create the world that Howe and I always dreamed of. Sorry about that. Celsius. We never got to talk with her about anything besides her memories. It doesn't matter. Celsius and Dr. Howe have given me the lead I needed. This might be the key to resuming my spyrite research. Balin, it's Jude. I may have found a way to complete the Spyrite project. What? Seriously? Yeah. It'll take a while to explain, though. First things first, Jude. You need to get your wounds treated before telling any long stories. Okay. Maybe we can borrow Drissel's manor in Sherilton. Hold still. I can't treat your wounds if you keep squirming. I told you, I'm fine. I already gave myself first aid. Now, now. Let's hear your breakthrough for the Spyrite project. No, oh, maybe this isn't a good time. Balin, thanks for coming. Wild wyverns couldn't have kept me away. Now, what's this revelation of yours? Well, spyrites are essentially just spirits, right? Even once they become spyrites, they still have their own minds. So instead of trying to control them, we should be asking for their cooperation. Asking for their cooperation? How exactly? That's the thing. It's the same way Rizemaxians do it every day. You figured it out, too. Ah, yes. The process in which spirits perform arts for humans in exchange for our mana. It presumably requires some form of communication to form a contract. So, spirit arts are actually a conversation of sorts. Dr. Howe was originally trying to communicate with spirits when he invented spirit arts. It must be that the arts contain within them a message that's sent to the spirit. You're right! We picked up on some incomprehensible system of signals when we were analyzing the spirit arts process. If it turns out to be an encrypted spirit la- It just might be what we're looking for! If we decode it and apply it to spyrites, we'll even be able to make requests of the great spirits. Can you imagine that? I'll analyze the signals immediately. Leave them to me. Hey, impressive work there. I didn't do anything. It's all thanks to Celsius. You inherited the possibilities that Hal once envisioned, and that will be the key in leading us to a brighter future. You humans really are something. Thank you. For everything. 
I will make sure that your dream comes true. Hey, Luger, did you hear that they're gonna revive the old retired AR-120 train series? I would have never awakened to this hobby if I had just stayed in Rizania. <laughs>